A package a day keeps the doctors away. I don't know where this is coming from. What do I get? What do I get? Ugh. Ooh! Yeah! It's the Eero 6 Plus Dual Band Mesh Wi-Fi 6 system With guaranteed connection to up to 75 devices So let's see what's inside I'll be recording this video with me not knowing anything about this unit. So we will discover this stuff together, you and I together. Oh, okay. This is one of the unit. Nice and shiny. Input, output. Okay, so I guess the the brain, so to speak, and uh, the mesh unit, they're all identical. All right. They look beautiful that way. And... This is the quick quick start guide uh, card. What's in here? Oh. These are the power supply for each and every one of the Eero module. So it tells me to download the Eero app for iOS or Android. I'm using an iOS, so let's do that now. App Store, search for Eero. You see here this Eero home Wi-Fi system, click get, and it's downloading, it's opening, and let's do the setup now. So I'm taking this to my office to get it installed, get it ready. Really nice cable actually, smooth and tangle free, see, I can bunch it up like this and still go back straight. So according to what I read, I'm supposed to be plugging the Eero module to my modem, plug in the power. Plug in the power, the light on the Eero is blinking, open the Eero app, and now you have to, well, unfortunately, have to create a, an account. I choose to use my Amazon account. Sign in. It's telling me that I need the Gateway Eero, so one of the module, the power cord that I already plugged in, the Ethernet cord that I already plugged in as well, and the modem, obviously. And I have to allow Bluetooth access. Now it's looking for the Gateway. And because I'm using it in the office, I just call it office just to make it easy. 
and I just have to put my Wi-Fi name and password. When done, I just click create network. Click next. So setting up your Eero Wi-Fi network and done. That's it. You're done. Done. That's that was quick. Woohoo! And then of course, just like any other unit, there's a new update and you want the newest and latest update, especially for stability and security. So click install now. And when it's done, it's going to notify my phone. Now it's enabling network security. Network security is now already enabled. Click next. Done. And now what to do if I want to add another mesh module. Plug it in at the back here. Plug in the other one. After plugging that device, wait until it turns blue like that, blinking. And then you open your app. Then you press this button here, the plus button. And it asks you, what do you want to do? And in this case, I want to add a device. It will ask you whether you want to add an arrow device. You click add arrow device and you will see the screen with the dog sniffing, which is cute. And you wait until the blinking blue LED turns solid. It then start internally setting up your Eero device and you're done creating the mesh network. And now I'm going to check the range. A few moments later. As you can see, I'm at the very, very, very edge of my house here. And yet you can still see from the indicator that my network is still extremely strong. So this unit makes me able to browse my internet all the way from the end of my driveway all the way to the end of the home. I thought that this is something that's possible within the budget of five, six hundred dollars that I have. So do I recommend this unit? Of course, why not? If you find this video to be helpful, please leave your comment down below so we can start a discussion. And also don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So when the next time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.